thank you anymore. <laughs> Any, any additional questions on that? Uh, flip over to the next page. This is our proprietary funds. Our proprietary funds operate um, more like, like regular companies. They're in business to make money. Um, so you got the water um, sewer department, you got the landfill, you got the special lighting and the sanitation. Um, Overall, total revenues uh, for that area, um, $6,498,000 compared to six million eight sixty nine dollars in the previous year. Expenditures, um, $5,232,000 compared to $5,220,000 in the previous year. Uh, operating uh, expense, non-operating expenses, um, 339 compared to 450. Operating transfers out, uh, 877 compared to operating transfers in, 255 previous year. So our net income uh, from these funds in 2012 is $48,000 compared to $1,453,000. If you look, obviously your biggest your biggest fund in that is the water sewer fund. Um, your landfill uh, has very little operations um, other than. service funds, um, total revenue, $8,444,000 compared to $8,303,000 the previous year. Uh, operating expenses, $9,001,000 compared to $8,720,000 the previous year. Uh, net income, or in this case net loss, uh, overall $564,000 compared to $400,000. <coughs> Health insurance is obviously one of your bigger, um, bigger funds here, and and the fleet manager. Any questions? I guess uh, going back to uh, the deal, I, I noticed a couple of weeks ago we received, uh, I guess, good news regarding the ankle bracelets savings, and that's why I guess I was trying to see the savings or, or see how it reflected in our budget in the lab. Uh, that budget you were looking at here was capital, only, not operational. Okay. The ankle monitoring, am I correct, Joe? The ankle monitoring will affect the operational cost of the jail. The number you were looking at here was the physical building of the jail. That correct. Yes, that number at budget time, that's when that number will really kind of rear its head. And that'll come up in, in the general Yes. Yeah. that would be in your general fund. Yeah. Two different, two different operators. Thank you. 
close relationship between what the auditors do for us. They basically come in and take a snapshot of the county population at a point in time. But they have to work hand in glove with Harrison in providing a good bit of that information. Uh, I think y'all know that uh, we have six basically in the office. Uh, and Harrison for us what it would take four or five other people at least to provide if we crawl homes in-house. Is that a fair assessment? So, uh, but I think the relationship between Henderson Dodger and Harrison, Harrison and staff, staff and Henderson Dodger has been a great relationship that has made this process is extremely important for us. I certainly appreciate those comments. I think the key is not to tell the one here. Yeah. Tell the one here. <laughs> That's the key. Well, that, and that was actually going to be my question, even with staff sitting there. Are, are, are there any target issues in here that you've identified that we need to be aware of as far as planning or moving forward? Well, obviously, um, I think I'll probably hit on several of them because those will come up with budget and everything else. Is um, I know that the retirement um, amount y'all had to provide this year was fairly substantial. And it, it doesn't look like it's going down at any point in time. Or sustainable over any point in time. Yeah. And obviously your health insurance is, is another big, big component that um, continues to go up also. So how many people did we have retired, I guess, last year?